Just before we start the show, here's a quick tip so you'll never miss a live event. Make sure that you click on the subscribe button, and then make sure you click on the small bell here. Now you'll be notified instantly when I go live. Well hi and welcome to a quick short training video. As always I like to get questions coming in uh, from students and would-be students and a great question coming this morning. Uh, this question actually deserves a bit of a work through on the whiteboard which we're going to do. It's only going to take a few minutes to explain but what I'm going to do first off is read the question uh, from Dennis so that we understand exactly what his question was and how we can answer that and it was to do with a, an accumulation process to stop taking and accumulating the, of buy and sell orders so that's the that's the framework in which the question was asked so I'm going to look down now and read this question and then I'll come back on the whiteboard and explain um, what the answer to that question okay it says so here we go Dennis so he said um, I don't know if I'm understanding the stop making process um, this is my evaluation. We have an accumulation period where the market makers are accumulating inventory stock. Suddenly we see the movement to the downside which prompts selling and we know that short sellers will place a buy stop above the accumulation area and if the market makers can manipulate a move back up to take out these stops then these buy stops can only be used as part of the inventory of buys to sell into a rising market only. Okay, so a little bit of, uh, difficult to understand there, and there's a question mark at the end of that. Now, I can read into that and I know exactly what he's thinking there, but it needs to be explained onto the whiteboard, which we'll get over and do now. Okay, so here we are on the whiteboard. Now, what Kevin's question was saying was the accumulation period has run through here. I'll just draw this up as best I can like this. The market then goes off and starts to break down. And he said about traders who have sold down here as the market comes down will now place their stop loss orders back above this area here. Quite correct. He then says, if the market makers can move this market back up, they will take out these stops, which of course will be buy stops, won't they? Because they will have sold down here, as they're coming down, these will be buy stops. So let's suppose now that the market does indeed come back up and go through this level here, and this takes out the stops here. Let us assume, make it nice and easy, that they sold at a price of 100. I know that's not correct, but you know, we'll just call it 100 to make it uh, sensible. And this is a level at 150. Now, Dennis's question was saying that is the as the market goes back up through here, the market makers are accumulating buy orders. But if they intend to mark go the market down, these buy orders can only be used to sell into a rise should the market then continue on up. It's clear, it's clear logical thinking, but the, the problem with this is it's not correct. And the reason it's not correct is because what we've actually got here is the difference between 100 here and the difference between 150 here is in itself a profit release. What's actually happened is the market was, so the sellers were convinced into selling the market here, put the stops back here. The market comes back here. The market then comes back up, goes through the level at, at this point here. And what happens is, that creates a circle in itself and that has been a profit release phase through that center point there. Now, the now of course, as the market goes through this level here, where do traders then place their stops? Down at this level here. These are sell stops down here, this point right under here. Now the market then comes back down here punches out the sell stops through here, which adds to the already the, the already selling stock that has been going on back through this accumulation period through here, adds to this, and often that is when you'll see that the market will bang down, 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 down very quickly as that weight adds to that downside. Okay, so the, the, you can see where the confusion was here, is whether the when the market went back up through here, Dennis was thinking, okay, well, those buy orders can only be sold into a rising market, when in effect, what's actually happened is that the profit cycle has been released, or profit has been released from this point here, from the 100 level up to this point here, which in our case would be 50.
Okay, so I hope that helped. The whiteboard got a little bit messy, but it should make uh, it should make that quite clear. Okay, if it doesn't, then come back to me and we'll get back onto the board again. If you've got any questions like this or you want things answered about accumulation, manipulation, profit release, send them in, send in a ticket, send in an email, uh, go to the website and uh, I will answer them up on a video for you and we'll go forward from there. Have a wonderful day. I'll catch up with you very soon. And just before we close down, don't forget, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also click on the notification bell.